In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a new project with the TOA 9000M2 GUI software with the initial setup wizard. When you first launch the GUI application, the start menu will prompt you to do one of three things. Begin programming a new configuration template from scratch, load a previously stored template file, or download a configuration from a connected 9000M2 unit via a serial connection. In this tutorial, we will create a new file. When you create a new file, the initial setup wizard will prompt you to configure modules for the hardware slots on the rear panel of the 9000M2 unit. The next step is to assign the modules to each slot in the slot configuration section. This must accurately correspond to the actual hardware that is located into the 9000M2 unit's frame. A mismatch may cause a malfunction and will certainly produce a configuration error when uploading files to the unit. In this example, we will assign eight modules, a D001 input module, an AN001 ambient noise control module, a ZP001 telephone paging module, two T001 output modules, a C001 contact closure module, and an RC001 remote control module. Next, let's take a look at Stereo Link. Clicking the Stereo Link button will link both channels of an input or output module. When two channels are stereo linked, volume, EQ, and other channel settings may be adjusted on one channel, and the linked channel's settings will automatically follow. Next, you may label each channel up to seven characters. When you are finished, click Next to advance to the next step. In this example, since we assigned an RC001 serial remote control module, the initial setup wizard will load a second page where we may define the type of remote controls we will use in the system. Here we can quickly assign the quantity of remote controls, the remote control address, and the remote control model. Finally, the source selection mode determines the behavior of all of the remote control buttons throughout the system that are assigned to the cross point change function. A cross point is an assignment of an input to an output. Selecting exclusive mode allows only one cross point assignment per button. This means that each button pressed overrides the previously selected source to a given output. This mode should only be used when one source to an output at a time is required. Selecting simultaneous mode allows each button to select one or more input sources to one or more outputs. This means that multiple inputs may be simultaneously assigned to an output. This mode should be used when a source must be assigned to more than one output or multiple sources must be assigned to a single output. Select finished and now you are done configuring the 9000M2 hardware. The GUI will then generate the layout as you have selected. You are now ready to program how the unit will function. You may always return to the remote setting wizard later to make changes or program the various individual remote functions.